Hello, this is a short video about drum sanders, notably the JET 2244 OSC drum sander. Drum sanders come in a variety of sizes, common sizes being a 10 inch width machine, a 16 inch width and the biggest ones here which is the 22 inch machine. They all have a common feature in that they're all open at the far end of the machine, which means that the effective length of the drum can be doubled in size so that you can get a very large panel. A 44 inch panel is the maximum size on this machine. Now they are all a very simple design and they are very accurate. You can make them as accurate as you like because they are fully adjustable. I'll come on to that a little later on. And they're very compact in size. This is being the very biggest of the machines. The smallest one can be easily bench mounted so it will not take up a lot of space. They will all run from the standard 13 amp UK plug supply. Over the years we've found quite a variety of customers that use these. Obviously anyone who's making panels, doors for bespoke kitchens or furniture, but quite notably instrument makers, especially guitar makers who are using the full width of the machine, but also its ability to sand down to very fine tolerances on a quite a thin panel. Okay, let me explain some of the main features of these drum sanders. They all have several features in common, the most obvious being that they all have a very robust frame. In this case, this is made of solid cast iron. This frame carries the whole mechanism of the main drive motor, which is directly coupled to the sanding drum itself. Now, the sanding drum is supported within its own chassis, again in this particular case cast iron. It has separate bearings at each end to carry the aluminium drum. The secondary small motor here drives the conveyor belt. In this case, this is a sandpaper type conveyor belt. It is a variable speed unit which is controlled on a little simple control knob here, which I'll come to a little later on. Now the whole machine, as I mentioned earlier, can be made more accurate by using this simple adjustment here. The machines are generally factory set to quite a good standard, but you can dial out any small inaccuracies by using this small control. And finally, there's a very large control wheel just here. This raises and lowers the whole motor and sanding drum arrangement. There's a very fine thread on, on this mechanism. Indeed, only a quarter of a turn will lower the drum by 0.4 of a millimeter. So you get a very accurate uh, control over your sanding thickness. Okay, and finally the machine itself, in this case, is mounted on a very full-sized stand which has a very large storage cabinet within it. Plenty of room in there to store all your sandpaper rolls, tools, and any other bits and pieces you wish to put in there. And it is secure. It's not lockable, but it has a very good door. The conveyor belt is made of sandpaper and is driven by this rubber-covered drive roller here. It's sandpaper because it is very, very flat. There's no give in this, so the material that you're sanding can't sink into a rubber-type conveyor. It is adjusted by a mechanism on each side of the table that gives the tracking and the tension to the belt. Now to adjust it, there is a captive spanner on each side, so you don't need to go looking for a spanner. It simply fits over the hexagon nut and you adjust it thus, whilst the machine is running to get your tracking dead central. Again, once this is set, it will stay set until you need to change the belt at any future date. The conveyor belt on these machines is driven by this small DC motor mounted on this gearbox assembly. It's controlled by this knob. This knob will give you the variable speed of the conveyor belt itself, which varies between 0 and 10 feet per minute. It's infinitely controllable and will slow right down to the very, very finest of speeds. The other part of this system is the SandSmart technology. This monitors the amperage that the motor is having to draw to push the conveyor belt around. If it exceeds a certain limit, it will slow the whole system down to prevent overloading of the machine and also to prevent burning of the timber. All drum sanders operate in a linear fashion, i.e. the timber is being fed through underneath the sanding drum by the conveyor, which is stationary. However, this machine has a simple button control here which allows the main drum to oscillate backwards and forwards. I shall show you. With a normal drum sander, 
the sanding motion is in a linear fashion down the board. So that means after you've sanded it, you get a lovely smooth finish down the grain, but across the grain you can actually feel where the sandpaper has literally scratched through the surface of the timber itself. With the oscillation mechanism, because it's effectively going across the grain as well as down the grain, it should eliminate those markings. I'll show you how. Switch on the dust extractor. Although you won't be able to see this on the video, this actually made a surprising difference. Just in one pass at a medium speed, all that etching and graining has gone already. So a much improved finish. And I think you can achieve the finish you want to with a machine like this. The sanding paper comes in lots of different grits. It's available pre-cut in the right length with the right taper on each end to fit the drum. Or you can use an old pattern of paper to cut your own um, from a reel. Now it's ever so easy to load. You have a static clip at the, this end of the drum. You feed the paper in, let the clip go, and then simply wind the paper onto the drum, keeping it as tight as you can, but not worry too much about it. Feeding it gently all the way along until you get to the far end. Just try and keep the gaps down to a minimum. And when you reach the far end, you think, well, this is going to be really awkward. But no, Jet has a nice little tool, which is very simple to operate. It has the function of holding the clip to grasp the other end of the paper in the right place, and also holds the clip open. So all you need to do, is when you get to the other end of the drum, is insert the tool into the clip, pull it up, twist it slightly to hold it onto the drum, that holds the clip jaw in the right place so you can then feed the end of the paper directly into the, into the clip itself. Poke it down as far as you can and then simply twist and release the clip which grips the end of the paper and then when you start the machine up next time it will tension the paper to get rid of all the slackness from the paper the Jet 2244 OSC drum sander.